Today's lesson is on Freaks by Surf Curse. Uh, this was going to be a, one of my quick riff lessons, but then I realised the song's pretty simple and I can just make the whole lesson a quick one. It's not just the riff, we can look at the chords as well. And it, it's not going to be a very long one, this. It's, it's quite a simple song. It's good though, really good song. So, um, the actual riff, if we start off with that, it's quite a simple riff that's repeated, I think, for the whole song. You just play this riff all the way through. It doesn't change. And the song's in the key of A major, and we're starting in ninth position. Well, actually, the whole thing's in ninth position. And we've got to play a C sharp, which is ninth fret on the first string. Play that note, and then come to the second string. So I'd recommend first finger for that first note. Then second string with your second finger, play a 10. Then a nine with your first, same string. Back to the 10 on the second string. So that's this. We do that three times. And then with your little finger, you just want to play two 12s on the first string and then two 10s with your second finger on the first string. And with the pick all the way through this, probably alternate picking's best, although it doesn't have to be that. And that, that's actually the whole riff. I'll just play it all slowly. And that's it, that's the riff. And then the chords, there's a verse, which is also the same as the intro, and then there's kind of a chorus. Now the verse is an A bar chord, so it's the E shaped bar chord at fifth position. Hopefully you'll know these, these basic bar chord shapes. Um, this song's a simple song, but if you're not very good at bar chords, then you'll find the song tricky because it's just bar chords involved. Uh, so that's A. We play that one for four bars. In terms of strum, I haven't really sort of analysed it and thought about exactly what they're doing because it's just a bit of a thrash really. It's, I mean, just to give you an idea, you could probably do something like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you could just do that over and over again like this. Something like that. So that was four bars what I just played then. So you're counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we change to F sharp minor at ninth position. So that means you slide fingers all the way up to ninth position, which is here. And then move everything down like that towards the ground so that you're moving across to the thinner strings. You probably know that shape. It's an A minor shape bar chord. So in terms of frets, we've got nothing on the E string. We're not playing that one. Then we've got 9, 11, 11, 10, 9. So that's F sharp minor. So we go from go from A, F sharp minor. Okay, and we do that for the intro several times, and then for the verse, I think it's just twice that you play that. And when it goes to the chorus, from the F sharp minor, we go to a D, D major. Now D is a bar chord at tenth position, so we just go up a fret and move back to what we did for the A chord, for the first chord. So you just move your fingers back up like that. So that's an E shaped bar chord, just like the first one was. So in terms of fret numbers, it's 10, 12, 12, 11, 10, 10. And we play four bars for that. Back to the A, the first chord for four bars. So that's an easy change because you just Keep the shape, move down to fifth position. Four bars there. Four bars on the D again. Now this is a slightly odd thing in this song. That's the end of the chorus. That's the end of the whole sequence. And then it all starts again. But it feels like when you go back after the second D, it feels like you're going back to the A and, and that feels like an extension of the chorus, but it's not. It's the start of the verse again. So we've got A, F sharp minor, a, F sharp minor, D, A, D, and then that all repeats. So I'll just play what I just said 
up to about the speed of the song, roughly. So, pretty simple song, as long as you can play bar chords. Uh, but that's actually all of it, that's everything in it. Uh, unless I've missed a bit, but I don't think I have. I think that, that's, um, that's the whole thing. Uh, if you've got a loop pedal, it's a really good one to, to play where you put the chords into the loop pedal and then play the riff over the top. Or if you're playing with another person, then it, it's a really good one to, to do. Um, it's very repetitive, so you wouldn't want to play it for that long, but it, it's, a, it's a good sounding sequence and what what works particularly well is this riff staying the same over different chords there's only three chords in it but the fact the riffs exactly the same notes over each chord the chords changing the riff doesn't change that's what is effective is the the notes of the riff sound different because the chord underneath them has changed and i quite like things like that. i think it's quite clever really how they've done that so yeah good song uh, any questions on that please put them in the comments uh, if you want to see lessons on anything else then just uh, suggest some things for me and uh, if you like this one click like and please subscribe if you haven't done so already okay thanks mm -hmm.